The word Advent simply means coming, and the Bible tells the story of this coming. Yet life sometimes lays on us burdens that are so heavy that our gaze is focused on the ground as we struggle and fight just to put one foot in front of the other. All we can see underfoot is the hardest ground, even a wilderness. Yet scripture is there both to comfort us in our struggle and to lift our heads oh so slightly so that we might get a glimpse of the coming. We've already seen that image of light and the morning star holding fast even in the darkest point of the night, gradually pulling the dawn in behind it. Caroline Cobb, a singer-songwriter, highlights a complimentary image in the Bible in her Advent album, A Seed, A Sunrise. This image is that of a garden, but it wasn't just a garden, she writes. It was the hope of beauty growing up from the desert, the hope of a tiny seed bringing forth the green of Eden in a desolate wilderness. Maybe this Christmas life feels like a desolate wilderness. Maybe for a long time life has just been the hardest ground with no sign of anything breaking through. Advent brings us to the incarnation, Emmanuel, God breaking through to be with us in Jesus, who is described in Isaiah 53 as a man of suffering, familiar with pain. He doesn't parachute in as some distant saviour, but comes and sits on the ground with us. He stood on the hardest ground of rejection and suffering and injustice, and on a cross staked in that ground, cried out, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? So he gets it. He is with you in the midst of whatever it is and he is for you. Isaiah 58 tells us that he will satisfy your needs in a sun-scorched land and will strengthen your frame. Advent looks forward to the incarnation and then forward again with a defiant hope to restoration. So let these words of Isaiah 50, 35 bring even the smallest green shoot of hope in your life this Christmas. The desert and the parched land will be glad. The wilderness will rejoice and blossom. Like the crocus, it will burst into bloom. It will rejoice greatly and shout for joy. Strengthen the feeble hands. Steady the knees that give way. Say to those with fearful hearts, be strong and do not fear. Your God will come. He will come with vengeance and with divine retribution. He will come to save you. Caroline Cobb, again in a song we'll listen to in a moment, puts it like this. In the wilderness, the green of Eden. In the wasteland, the garden blooms. Up from the desert springs a river, for he is making everything new. She writes, I wrote this song for a friend walking through a hard season with her adult daughter. But as I sang it, I realized it was also for me. There were scorched and dry places in my life, seasons shadowed by grief. The song speaks comfort into our dry places, reminds us that through Jesus, we have the promise of full restoration one day. As Jesus was planted in the ground in the tomb, he broke through the hardest ground in his resurrection, defeating the grip of sin on creation and on us, and making the way for us in forgiveness and reconciliation with God to anticipate and to expect and then to enjoy full restoration. If you're standing on the hardest ground or in scorched and dry places, the advent of restoration speaks comfort into your situation. It speaks a reminder that through Jesus, one day there will be beauty in the wilderness.